<laughs> Not bad, eh? Not bad at all. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to a new series of Keeping Goals. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper. And in this series, Series 3, which we've all been waiting for, Series 3 will be brought to you from Gibraltar. This series, I will be playing in the Gibraltar Premier League. That is where Series 3 of Keeping Goals is going to come from. It's going to be bigger, it's going to be better than ever and I'm going to explain a little bit more about how I got to Gibraltar, what the project is, and what you're going to be seeing more of as we go through this series. So, the aim is I'm going to be playing for Europa Point FC. Now, Europa Point FC are a team in the Gibraltar Premier League who have been recently taken over by English businessmen and they're trying to put together a team that can compete in the Gibraltar Premier League. The aim of the Gibraltar Premier League is there are 16 teams all competing for the National League title as there is in other countries with the caveat that the top three teams at the end of the season achieve European football. Second and third get Europa League, have to play qualifiers, but if you finish first in the Gibraltar Premier League, you can be part of the Champions League qualifiers. So, for the guys taking part and taking over Europa Point, they wanted to create a club with new players, a club that can compete in the Gibraltar Premier League and a club that can ultimately win European qualification. Through that project, they contacted lots of players, including myself, invited them in for trials both in England and in Gibraltar. And at this point in August, I am still on trial for Europa Point FC, but the aim is that I win a contract here. So in terms of how I came to Gibraltar and how this opportunity came up. Think back to series two when I showed you a trial day in front of professional scouts. That video went mad. It got lots of different views. And a lot of you were interested in what the trial was for, who was watching. So I was invited by Player Trader to join in with some trial games in the UK. I played with other trialists, including Jack, who's behind the camera. And we played against lots of different teams in the UK. Well, Player Trader, who ran that trial day, some of the people involved with Player Trader also were involved with the Europa Point project. After inviting me down to the Player Trader event, they saw me, they saw what I could do, I played in those games, I performed. They invited me back to another Player Trader event in order to watch me a second time. And at that event, they then approached me, started having conversations, told me about the project that was going on with Europa Point, what they were trying to do in terms of getting European qualification, in terms of trying to win the league or to get top three. And for me, it was an opportunity that I really had to think about. Some of us were then invited out to Gibraltar to continue being on trial with the Europa Point squad. We flew out at the end of July, training and trialing with the Europa Point manager, the coaches, the owners, and the team that are in place. It's a very new team. People are getting used to each other. We've had three pre-season friendlies so far. We've started to get together as a team and the start of the season is around the corner. So that's what we've been building up to and that's what I'm on trial for. I still haven't signed a contract yet. Fingers crossed that'll come soon before the season begins, but that's where we're up to. I've been living with other trialists in a house in an episode that you'll see very soon. I'll show you the house, show you what it's like to live with other footballers on trial. But it's been a really interesting experience and I do feel that this series is going to be incredible because the chance to win a national title, the chance to get Champions League football, that's what's on offer in Series 3 of Keeping Goals. So I apologise for being quiet on social media. I apologize for being quiet on YouTube. I wanted to wait until things were kind of certain and I knew what was happening before I started with Series 3. But we started, we're on it. Series 3 is back up and running. We'll keep bringing you weekly episodes every single Sunday. 
my aims for this season, as I've just said, I want to be the best goalkeeper in Gibraltar. I wanted to show people what level I can play at and I want to be the best goalkeeper in this league. As a team, achieve the club's aims of European football and to finish as high as possible in the league. Whether that's Champions League or Europa League, that would be a dream. But for the rest of this episode, we have the curtain raiser of the Gibraltar Premier League, almost their community shield between the two top teams from last season. So it'll be a good chance for us to watch and see what the level's like, see what we're up against for this year. I'll also show you a little bit more of Gibraltar, show you what the country's like, show you what the atmosphere's like that we're in at the minute. Enjoy the game, enjoy Gibraltar, and I'll speak to you in a bit. So this lighthouse right here behind me is Europa Point, which is what the club are named after and it's the most southern point in Europe. If you look behind me, you see Europa Point, the lighthouse, and you should be able to see Africa. That's Morocco right there, very, very close to Gibraltar. So, a little bit of culture for you. Europa Point. So Jack, we're here at the what's it called? The Pepe Reyes Memorial Cup, which is the Gibraltar Charity Shield. And we're watching Lincoln Redimps, who won the league last year, against Europa FC, who won the cup last year. And these two teams have been the most successful Gibraltar teams in the last five, six years. So it'll be interesting for us to watch and see what level they're at. That's it, yeah. Exactly, see what we're up against. So, should be a good game. Let's see how it goes. Counter. So one more time, Jack, what did you just say? I said the guy just scored, uh, apparently he's, he's at Notts County. Yeah. Uh, but I think he played some other football league clubs as well. And he's the uh, captain of the national team. Gibraltar uh, national team. Gibraltar national team, yeah. And so that's 1-0 Europa. 1-0 Europa, yeah, great finish. Great goal. So what do you think, Jay? First half, 
interesting. Very interesting. Giving us stuff to think about. A lot of energy. Starting the second half now. 1 0 half time. Very nice goal, first half. But, oh, as the, as the plane goes past. Where else are you going to find the stadium with a big rock and an airport at either end? But yeah, looking forward to the second half. Oh, <laughs> But that interesting game, Europa won, 1-0. Yeah. Well, it gave us things to think about. It's a good motivation before the season starts on Wednesday. But yeah, interesting to see what the top two teams are like and how we how we match up to them. It should be a good year. Let's give it a go. Definitely. <laughs> Sir. Let's smash it. Let's do this Europa boy. So that's it for episode one of series three of Keeping Goals. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it brought you a bit of value. First episode, I wanted to introduce to you what's going to be happening in Series 3, what's been happening since the end of Series 2, and set up a new series of Keeping Goals, which will hopefully include some really exciting moments in Gibraltar, in the Gibraltar Premier League, with Europa Point FC. As I said, there are big aims, both for the team and for myself this season to show what I can do, to perform at the highest level, to learn, improve and get better, but to show that I'm the best goalkeeper in the Gibraltar Premier League and with the team to try and achieve the club's aims of European football at the end of the season, be that Europa League or Champions League. It's going to be a long series, there's going to be a lot of ups, there's going to be a lot of downs, as there was in Series 2 and Series 1, as there always will be with this story. But the whole point of keeping goals is to document my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper, wherever that will take us. And it's taken us to some incredible places so far, and this is just another opportunity to show what I can do, to learn, get better, but to document a story which will hopefully, this series, have a really interesting ending. Thank you for watching. I really, really do appreciate all your attention, all your love, all your support, all the messages since the end of series two. I hope you're as excited for series three as I am, but thank you for watching. If you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button. Doing so, you'll be able to know as soon as I've uploaded a video and you'll keep on top of this whole Keeping Goal story. Also, press like on the video, share it with your friends if you can to try and grow the channel. Comment down below what you think of being in Gibraltar and the start of Series 3. I wanna hear your opinions. So all of the above, keep the channel growing. I really do appreciate it. Keep chasing improvement as always, and I'll see you in next week's episode. Thank you for watching. Speak to you in a bit. If you're new here, my name is Conor O'Keefe and Keeping Goals is a vlog following my attempt at becoming a professional goalkeeper. And as they talk on the microphone. <laughs> no. <laughs> so what do you think, Jack? Now that we're getting to the top of Gibraltar? Shaq doesn't want to be on the vlog because he doesn't get paid. <laughs>